What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How are we doing today? Uh, another video um, today, guys. Um, it is gonna be on how to prepare for the roster update. Um, pretty much, guys. It's just like we're gonna go over cards and stuff, uh, what to do with your investments and stuff like that. And as per usual, drop 10k in the comments, or whatever you want. Like the vid, so if you're new, for a chance of winning 10k in MLB, the show Diamond Dynasty. Um, 100 likes in the vid, someone in the comments will win. Anyways, guys. So, what I've been realizing, a lot of people think that Rue are going diamond, Story are going diamond, um, what's his name's going diamond, Story, Ryu, uh, Xander, and even Zag Ranky's in the running for diamond, um, even, dude, there's so many players that are in the run for diamond right now, who else, there's another one that I was talking about, um, Charlie Morton's in the run for diamond, so we have a, a potential of four people going diamond. And right now, it's kind of crazy because this is what I'm thinking. So ready? So ready? I just want to show you their prices and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Ready? Yo, Kirby Yates is 8K. Wow. All right. So ready? Um, Xander Bogarts is 5K. I will actually be selling all my cards right now. Um, Literally. Um... It's just not worth waiting till they go diamond. Because what happens if they go diamond? They're already at their 5k value. They're not going to go up since then. So let me explain this to you. So they go diamond. They're 5,000 quick sell no matter what, right? So they're going to be 1,000 quick, 5,000 quick sell no matter what. They're going to be the same price whether they go diamond or not. So you could get rid of them now and play it safe. That's what I'm going to say. So will MLB give away four diamonds? I highly doubt it. So I will be selling all my Trevor Stories, all my Mortons, all my Xanders, all my Grankies. Actually, I'll keep Grankies. He's not 5K yet. So what I'm saying is you're going to make a ton of stubs this way. Um, it's the safest route. I don't think they'll put four players to go diamond. It's very iffy. I don't know. We'll see. But this is the best way to make stubs. Um, I bought all these dudes at 1 to 2K. I have like plenty of them. And by selling them at 5K a piece is very good because i'm going to be making maximum stubs like yes it's not quick sell value at 4500 but what happens if he doesn't go diamond if he doesn't go diamond he drops 2k so honestly i think he's gonna go diamond but might as well take your stubs now and then if they drop headliner packs or something else which they do a lot we'll be safe and we'll make a ton of stubs so right here i'm selling all my stories besides one i always keep one just to have them for a diamond card just to have them on my squad if I want to get some gameplay or something. So right now, selling every single card. Uh, I'm also going to show you Trevor Story. I'm going to sell more, but I don't want to show you that. It's me selling them the whole video. That's boring. Oh, uh, dude, Ryu, I have five. Listen, he's already at 4,900. What makes you think he's going to stay there if he goes diamond? He's going to be at five 5,100 5, when he goes diamond. That's what every diamond card ends up at. Um, even if he doesn't. Like, it doesn't matter. Just get rid of them, man. Um, literally, make your stubs now and do what I'm telling you to do. And I'm actually going to go over to auctions videos. well. Will the market crash more? It is very possible. We will see. I hope it does. Because um, I have a ton of stubs this time. I sold most of my players besides Mr. Pete Alonso. Um, let's check Charlie Morton. Here he is. 4,800. I only had two. Um, he could just go. I'm just going to sell both. I don't want any of them. If he goes to 5k, whatever, I lose 200 stubs, but I'm still making 2k plus stubs, and it's safe. If he doesn't go diamond, this, okay, first of all, he's a Cy Young Award winner, like, easily right now. Like, he's literally a top three pitcher in the MLB right now. He's he's 100% going diamond. There's no way he doesn't. Um, If you guys want to pick up some for 4,400 and flip him at 5-something, that's not bad. You won't lose that many stubs. You'll actually make a lot of stubs if you do that. In my opinion, I wouldn't. Um, Let's check. I still have four Chris Bryans that I'm actually going to sell now. Um, dude, I, I have so many investments ready to sell. I've been waiting weeks for these dudes. This is the time to sell and get ready. They might drop some crazy stuff tomorrow that we don't know about. Um, I actually want to check what they're dropping exactly because... I mean, like, this is the thing. They have all right here what they're dropping, but they never say, like, what low-key packs they're going to drop, which is really annoying. Um, we got rank seasons, 722, alright, whatever, roster update, 719, alright, so they say nothing about packs, but it's Friday, they have 5th inning collection as well, July 18th, whoa, okay, so, 
All right, so they're gonna drop the fifth inning program as well. So what I will be doing, um, let's check let's check some Cal Ripken McCutcheon's price right now. Um, will I be doing the fifth inning collection? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest. I'm getting ready for Madden. I'm super excited. I'm beyond excited for that game. I will probably be posting two to three vids a day on Madden. I know you guys are not gonna like it because I do only MLB, but I'm gonna be honest. I want to try to hit another community, see how it goes. Um, if it doesn't go well, I will be 100% coming back. But let's check McCutcheon. Um, McCutcheon, bro, 64K. Not bad. Will I buy him? Probably not. Uh, if you could be one of the first people to do this collection, you're lit. But, like, realistically, bro, I have work six days a week. I'm not going to have time. I have work 10 hours a day, six days a week. It's terrible. But, like, I will not be able to do this collection on the first day. It's kind of shot. But, yeah. Um, let's go over some more cards. So let's see what sold. So we have a lot of Xanders and Trevor's sold. We already have, so we already made out like 3k stubs off each, 3 times 5 We're going to make 15k just off 5 cards. If you guys listened to me way back when, when I told you to pick up Xander, when I told you to pick up Morton, you're now going to make a ton of stubs thanks to Bugs. You're welcome. Altuve at 12k is very cheap. I might pick that up. If you have Altuve, yo, pick him up. He's actually doing really freaking good since All-Star break. Over the last week, he's literally been on crazy. He's doing crazy. Look at his stats. It's been unreal. Uh, let's see. Do I still have Ken Giles? I'm about to sell him. All right. Not sellable. All right, guys. So, as you can see, I sold most of my investments. I actually want to check Pete Alonso's price as well. If you saw that home run yesterday, holy crap, that was insane. Let's see, Pete Alonso, 1,200 stubs. All right, he, he, he should go up in overall. I want to check McNeil. I want to check Kento Marte. Marte's a gold, right? He's got to be gold. He's probably an 80. Yeah, 81, yeah. He's probably going to go up in overall, too. Chuck Nasty's probably going to go up in overall. A lot of people are going to go up in overall, this update. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Um, Let's see. Let's look at my story. So, this is what I'm going to say. So, overall, what I'm saying is just make sure you get rid of your investments because I just don't think MLB will give four diamonds. I, I don't think they will. I feel like Xander is definitely going diamond. He's literally the, been the best player, and Charlie Morton is definite. But, like, realistically, like, they're all definite. So, will they give four diamonds? I don't know. I don't know how the de developers work, but... They're literally all doing amazing right now. Just go look at their stats. Over the last two weeks, they're all on fire. I can't say they're not going to go diamond, but I just don't think they will. If I had to choose two, it would be Xander and Morton. But I can't choose two because they're all doing good. So anyways, I, I just don't know what to do right here. I'm just going to sell them and take my dub. Take the dub. Be Don't be greedy, man. Don't be greedy for those extra 200 stubs. I'm telling you, it's just not worth it. Make sure you sell them. And uh, Trevor Bauer at 1,300 stubs is a very good investment. As you can see, I have 25. I think he's going to go diamond this year. Um, also, dude, if you guys have been watching the Padres, they've been sending Will Myers out a lot. I don't know why. I mean, he's been struggling, but I, I think he might get traded. If he's sitting out a lot, that's very interesting to watch. Charlie Black is at 1,700 stubs. I actually got him all a quick sell. If I sell him, I'll make 1,500, uh, 500 clean off each. 5 times 10. Uh, 5k. I make about 10k of all my Charlie Blackmans right here. So that's lit. If you listen to me, you'll make about. If you picked up as many as I did, you'll make a ton of stubs as well. Whit Merrifield's still playing pretty good. He's about 1300 stubs. He's not bad. I have 17 of them. As you can see, I literally put all my stubs in. Um, all my stubs in investments. That's how I make the most stubs, man. Think about it. If you're gonna put a hundred thousand stubs in investments and they turn diamond, you make a ton of stubs. Um, but anyways, guys, oh, wow, Kevin Biggio got a player of the month, tops now, no way, that's crazy, alright, guys, anyways, I hope you enjoyed, I hope this video helps you out, just make sure to sell all those cards I was talking about, I feel like it's the best route, it's gonna be the safest way, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, stay tuned for more content tomorrow, and, yo, stay tuned for, uh, Madden NFL 20 content once it drops on EA Access, I'm so excited, man. I'm going to be popping so many packs on that game. I'll probably drop $100 in packs first time it comes out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Just, guys, be blessed. 
Follow your bugs. Like the vid. Peace.